What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm going to be showing you the NHL Columbus Blue Jackets logo. Um, here it is, I'm not going to really waste much of your time, so that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you need for this logo is 36 across and 35 going up. And the materials are needing, um, not quite to start off, hold on, let me get on my image real quick, okay. Light gray concrete. White concrete. Blue concrete. And red concrete. That's literally all you need. It's four materials. I know, crazy. So you want to come to the right... Or, sorry, the le bottom left-hand corner of the space you're going to be using. And again, I'd mark that out, that 36 by 35. These are all going to be, like, different sizes. Next one, I'm doing 40 by 35, so... And you want to count right by six. I don't even have to do that, I just am gonna anyway. And from that, you want to go up with three light gray concrete. Then go up diagonally to the right one. Up one. Up diagonally to the right one. Up one. Left two. Now this is where we start business. Up diagonally to the left one. Left one this is gonna be fun. Up diagonally to the left two. <clears throat> up one, up diagonally to the left one, up two, up diagonally to the left one, oh god, up three, up diagonally to the right one, up two, shut up phone, up diagonally to the right one, up one, D up diagonally to the right by three, I don't know why that's different, but it is, right one, up diagonally to the right one, right one, up diagonally to the right one, right two, up diagonally to the right one, right three, up diagonally to the right one, right one. You want to remember this corner. I'm actually going to put a white concrete on top of that. That's not supposed to be there. That's just so I remember this block. And you want to bring that down with two, like right concrete. Down diagonally to the left one. Down two. Down diagonally to the left one. Down two. Left two. Down diagonally to the left one and then left two. We're going to kind of just start marking out the star, I suppose. Remember that block that I told you to remember? I hope you do because you need it. It's this corner. It's kind of the upper, um, upper right most block. It's this one. You want to go up diagonally to the right from, from it with a light gray concrete. Then go up two, up diagonally to the right one, up one. Take that block you just brought up one, so kind of this one right here. You want to go down diagonally to the right one, down two, down diagonally to the right one, down one, right three. My neck's going to break by the end of this. I'm looking back and forth so much. Down diagonally to the right one, right two, down diagonally to the right one. Right one. We're almost there, I swear. Down diagonally to the right one. Right one, that is, if you're hopeful. Down diagonally to the right one. Down one. Right three. Bring the two middle of that row of four each down an additional one. And then take that left one, which is the one that you... Where you kind of brought down one is this one right here. It has three to the right of it. Yeah, you want to also bring that left three... Down diagonally to the left by one, and then left by four. And this is what we have. It is, I don't know, it's a thing. Take that little two that you have right here. It's kind of the where it has, it creates a two by two square if you look off a little bit and hone in on only to the two blocks. That's very descriptive. You want to take this left like right concrete and go down diagonally to the left by one. Left one. And then you want... Three more of those twos, so down diagonally to the left, left, down diagonally to the left, left, down diagonally to the left, left, like that. So there's five total if you include the two up against that. One, two, three, four, five, that's correct. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Take the left block of that, that's this one, and you want to bring it down by three. In that row of three, you want to take the middle of that, which is this one right here, it's just up one from that bottom one. And bring it right by four. We're almost there. 
Up diagonally to the right one. Right two, I know that's not very convincing. Up diagonally to the right one. Right two. Down one. Down diagonally to the left one. Down four. Down diagonally to the left one. Down four. Left one. Down diagonally to the left one. Left two. Down two. Down diagonally to the left one. Down two. Down diagonally to the left one. Left one. Up one. Up diagonally to the left one. Up one. Up diagonally to the left one. Up one. Left three. Down diagonally to the left by one. Left four. Up diagonally to the left one. Left three. And then down diagonally to the left by four. Correct that. Down diagonally to the left by five. So just one more. I, for some reason, thought that block was already there. If you can see it all, you have your outline. And it kind of looks like Pac-Man, except if he ate a lot more than he should. Uh, I don't know. If you just, like, cut it off, like, there and make a circle, then it's Pac-Man. That... You can't convince me it's not Pac-Man. Okay, now let's try to make the star. So, you kind of want to come to this little peak here. Oh, not really. The, the, the top. And in between these two rows of three, like red concrete, ignore the stuttering. You want to place blue concrete in between and then bring it down an additional one, so it kind of sticks out. Except not out, just down. Then bring it down with six, like red concrete. This is where all or this is all where all describing goes out the window. Bottom three of that row is six. You want to bring left by one each, and then go down an additional three from that left. And then take, not the bottom one, or not the bottom two, but the two above that. Or, not the bottom one, but the two above that there. That makes more sense. And you want to bring each of these also left by one. So it kind of just traces that diagonal we have left of it to where it's never going to touch. You see there, that should actually, that will end up being blue, although I'm not going to fill that in yet. And then, you know, it's just, yeah. From the furthest down one, you want to go down diagonally to the right by one. This block is our central block. Basically, every point of the star is going to come back to here. So if you want to place a placeholder in front of it, I'm going to place a red just because, I don't know, I like being different as well, not white again. But from that uh, one, you want to go up diagonally to the right one. Right five. Again from that, go down diagonally to the right one. Right three. Then bring each of those right three down by two. And then the end two each down by one each, so it'll give you that little shape. Then from actually not the center point, the uh, first like right concrete placed in that kind of little, I guess, wing almost. It's this one right here. It is down diagonally to the right from the uh, center point. You want to go down diagonally to the left one. Down one. Left one. Down one. Left one, down one, right two, up one. That seems like a more logical way to do these. Um, again, from the center central point, which is, you see the placeholder, you want to go uh, down diagonally to the left by one. Left two. Down one. Left two. Down one. And then kind of where you create a little, uh, almost nook there, you want to fill that in with more like red concrete, and then extend from that nook, left an additional three so it'll give you this and it'll be one sort of the end of this kind of weird outline we have that just kind of goes in the middle of nowhere then go down diagonally to the left one from the end of that down one right two down one whoa that was weird okay sorry i um i am looking at the image right and i accidentally just like held down because i was trying to zoom out and i held down on the logo and it, like, copied it. That was so weird. I forgot I could do that. Anyway. We're gonna basically fill in the rest of that star with white concrete. So, I'll show you where. Come to this bottom one, which is this one. It kind of has a, it has almost a triangular shape. And you want to... 
going right at the bottom, you want to place two white concrete. And going left at the bottom, you want to place one, then go up one and left two. And then you can basically fill in the little gaps that we just created in with white concrete that are basically surrounded by uh, light gray, like that. You can place one under the central point, which you should be able to get rid of that red concrete now. And then basically either side of the central point going left and right, you want to place five white concrete moving out. Now on the row to the left, you'll be able to take the second white concrete to the left and bring it up one, and you want to do that. Now above it, you'll place three white concrete. Bring those top two each right by two each, and then take the left more row of that that you can actually bring up and bring it up with three white concrete. That is the star. Done. It looks a little bit weird, I know. Although, we'll get the bottom legs in in a second here, and that will probably improve our odds. And also, the rest of the shape will obviously make it look better. This is a really weird shape, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna come down to the legs here, these little legs. I'm gonna start with the left one. Basically, what you want to do is you want to fill in. You want to fill in the rows with blue concrete until you have three available. So you have, see the first, really just fill in the bottom three rows like that, and then you'll have three here. And in the middle of that, you'll place a light gray concrete in the middle of that row of three. And then you can also bring it up diagonally to the right by one. I know this explanation is really bad, but I really don't know how to approach these numbers. They're really weird. Come to the right leg, which is probably going to be easier to do, and. From the row of three light gray concrete, it's this one, kind of towards the bottom of the leg, but it's on the right side. It's these three. You see the ones I'm going up and down highlighting. You want to go up diagonally to the left with a light gray concrete. And then go up one and left one with a white concrete. The white concrete, the, the left one only, not the one up. Sorry, I should have been a little more spread out with the instructions there. So that should be your light gray concrete done. Now, I'm not going to tell you to get rid of it because we don't really need the inventory space. But just so you're aware, we don't really need light gray concrete again. Um, what I'm going to tell you to do now is... Okay. Come to the right here. And let's come to this top corner here. And in this little um, crevice of two, you'll place two blue concrete. Going down, you want to place a blue concrete. White concrete. And then three blue concrete. We're going to go top to bottom and we're going to keep doing rows like this. So next row. Three blue concrete. White concrete. Two blue concrete. White concrete. Two blue concrete. Next row. Hold on. Eight blue concrete. White concrete. Blue concrete. Next row, two blue concrete, white concrete, two blue concrete, two white concrete, and then three blue concrete. Also, just remember that it's only this section here. I should have specified that, sorry. Next row, three blue concrete, white concrete, two red concrete, white concrete, and then two blue concrete. Next row. Exactly the same. So the three blue, the white, the two red, the white, and then it'll be not th two blue, it'll be five blue at the bottom. Next row. Two blue, white, blue, two white, blue, white, two blue. I'd also just fill in the uh, bottom of this little leg in with blue, and I'd also actually do that with the other leg. Actually, no, I'm not going to do it with the other leg yet. Well... I'll do it below the white and kind of in the little gaps there. And I guess either side of the white concrete. So basically they're going to end at the same point for now, like that. And then next row you want to place going down. Two blue, red, five blue, red, blue. Next row, so it'll be below this white concrete, or sorry, this light gray concrete here. Blue, red, blue, white, blue, white, 
blue, red, blue. Next door, you'll come all the way up to this white concrete here. It's this one. And you want to go down with five blue, red, five blue, red, and then a blue. Next row, you'll go blue, red, white, three blue, white, red, blue. This is really starting to trip up my brain. Next row, blue, two red, blue, white, whoopsies, blue, white, red, blue. We'll stop there. I only went this far because I just wanted to get the stars done that way. Doing the entire thing that way would be a huge waste of time. So, I will tell you, however, um, what is the best way to actually do this? It wasn't what we were doing, but I don't know what it is. Okay, take the bottom row of red, and you're going to want to come down to it, which is this one right here, and you want to extend it left. Hold on, let me see how many we have real quick. Okay, five. You want to extend it left an additional five. Take the left three most and bring them each down with a red. And then come back to the uh, more top-ish block of that, which is this one. And bring it left an additional seven. Bring the left two each up one and then extend left an additional three. Then go up one, left two, up one, left one, up one, up diagonally to the left one, and then up with two white concrete, up diagonally to the left of the white concrete, and then up one. So... Take the lower two white concretes, that's these two, and you want to bring this bottom one, you want to bring it right one, down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right two, down one, right four, down one, and then just connect right. These stripes are kind of weird, I don't know why they work this way, they kind of like fade out, it's really weird, but it creates a cool 3D effect, so I guess no complaints. Now what you want to do is on the next row, you want to place going from the right side going left. On top of the white, you want to place a blue. Eight red. And then bring the left five up an additional one each. Extend left four. Take these four and bring them each up one per. Go left two. Bring those two each up one. Then go left one, up one, left one, up one, left one, up one, left one, up four. Like so. So basically what we're doing right now, just to confirm a little bit, we're trying to basically fill in everything and then just leave the blue left so we can just do a quick fill. Uh, next row, from this white concrete here, this little star, you want to bring it left with four blue. Yeah, okay. Sorry, that confused me. And then that's literally just filling in the rest of that row. Next row up, it'll be... Uh, it's kind of up diagonally to left from this white concrete where we start, we're starting. You'll place a blue. Then you'll place... Eight white. Then go up one. Left four. Up one, left two, up one, left one, up one, left one, up one, left one, up five. Next row, you'll start with, from this red, you'll start, you'll go left by eight. I just know it goes all the way up. What am I doing? Um, up one, left four. Up one, left two. Up one, left one. 
up to... And then you can bring each of those left until they touch white. And then you'll take the left two blocks and bring them each up by five. We have to go one higher than that white. And then take the top two reds, bring them each right one. Take that, those right two and bring them each up one. And then extend right one from that. Then go up one, right two, up one, right four. And then extend the end two each up one per. Like that. I know that was really confusing, I'm sorry. I didn't have a better way to explain that. Anyway, you want to come to the peak of the star, and you want to be looking at these three light gray concretes here. It's on the actual star itself, the light gray and the white, not the outline. You'll take the bottom light gray, and you'll bring it right with two blue, two red, then go down one, right three, down one, right one. Now you have this. Everything remaining can be filled in with blue concrete. I have been waiting for this moment for this entire recording. <laughs> Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most part. Yeah, it took me that long to say that. Can't believe it. No, I'm actually, I'm going to be honest. When I first made this logo, I hated it the way it looked. I thought it looked like really bad, but I kind of left it. And then this is like, this is about a month after I made it. Maybe, maybe yeah, about a month. I'm looking at this and I'm like, actually, this is really good. <laughs> like, not to be the guy that's like, oh yeah, my own builds are the greatest. But like, you know, the fact that I don't do pixel art really ever. And the fact that this looks as good as it does, like really kind of shocked me. I was like, dang, okay. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Really, the last... I mean, the Carolina one's okay. I have mixed feelings about it. But really, this one and the next one, which you kind of just accidentally saw on the side of my screen for a second there, those are the two um, best ones. And, um, yeah, once, once you have done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your Columbus Blue Jackets NHL logo complete. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. <coughs> video trying to say it slightly uh, understandably. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.